G'day YouTube, this is just a bit of a quick look at the uh, two latest releases. Uh, we've got Ubuntu 20.10 on the left and uh, Fedora 35 on the right. So without further ado, let's uh, get into this one. So first of all, let's just uh, open up a, a few basic specs here. So we've got the, the NeoFetch just to load it all up. Very, very good. So we can see Fedora, Ubuntu, there we go. Now, uh, starting off, uh, these actually uh, are actually, in fact, running on the same uh, GNOME desktop environment. In my opinion, the Ubuntu version has done it a bit more nicely because you've got the, the side taskbar menu to, to click on things. Very Windows-esque, but it is on the, the left-hand side instead of down the bottom. Whereas on the right-hand side, I feel like we've got a little bit less involvement with our movement, uh, a little bit harder to engage with, I guess you could say there. Got a few context menus here and there. In fact, uh, yeah, a little bit more options on the left-hand side. What do you know for Ubuntu? Uh, we have uh, the, so the applications menu, which I might have just shown very, very briefly there before. There we go. Fedora does actually look a bit nicer there. There, a little bit bigger. Uh, what else have we got? So let's have a look at uh, the the file managers here, if I can find them. Here we go, file manager, slightly different icons there as well. Obviously different different color, different feel, different look to uh, each of these operating systems. But um, when, oh, there we go, it's all loaded up there. So this is actually all running on the same uh, file system as well, or the, 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 the file manager, I'll, I'll call it. Uh, it's known as files, otherwise known as Nautilus, Nemo goes by many names, but it really is exactly the same, just different uh, colors and looks to it and uh, themes really there. Uh, if we have a look at the kernel, we are dealing with a slightly newer kernel on Fedora uh, 14. Fedora is known to be a bit more bleeding edge than almost any other operating system uh, when it comes to Linux. Whereas Ubuntu has made a lot of strides over the years, it is actually now uh, getting later and greater all the time. So only one version down, which isn't too bad. Doesn't mean it's not secured or anything, it just means that uh, Fedora might be uh, better suited to really the latest and greatest hardware, for instance, there. Uh, let's have a little bit of a quick hot look at the... Uh the, the usage, so RAM usage, both idling out there nicely. Now they have been both allocated, each machine exactly the same amount of RAM, nothing in the swap drives. What I can say is uh, the Ubuntu straight off on boot up, it's only been booted up for the last five minutes or so, is actually running at about 700 megabytes of RAM. So fairly fairly good these days, Ubuntu, it's coming down. It's a lot, lot more optimized than it used to be. Problem here with uh, Fedora is it's running at about 1.4, almost one and a half gigabytes of RAM. So something to bear in mind, just depending on the you know the type of hardware that you've got there. But this is really just a short and sweet video. So thanks for watching, guys. Please comment, uh, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one. Cheers.